Guess what? We literally made the video like yesterday afternoon talking about Darkwing Blast being a Blackwing theme set, and we were right. Gotta love context clues. Like 30% of you guys have not smashed living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can get, yes, to 106,000. Since the org is down, we're going to be using Respect Yu-Gi-Oh! from Facebook's translations. For this, to give you guys an idea of what's going on and what you see here, is the pack cover here for Dark Wing Blast. Now, first card we got here is Black Wing Assault Dragon. One tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters on a level 10. All of these new monster upgrades have been pretty great. This card can only be special summoned by the Synchro Summon or the following method. You can special summon this card from Eric's deck by banishing one tuner Synchro and one Blackwing Dragon from your field or graveyard. Okay, so that's an interesting summoning method. Each time an opponent activates an effect, place one Black Feather counter on this card and inflict 700 damage to your opponent. During your opponent's turn, you can tribute this card with four more Black Feather cards, destroy all cards on the field. It's 3,200, 2,800, and it has a built-in board wipe. It's not like the best of things here, but to be honest with you, it, it's a pretty cute card. Also, the fact you can summon it by banishing from the graveyard, um, that's not too bad of an effect. Next up here is Blackwing Borealis of the Demon Wind. So this is going to be a Synchro Tuner, all right, level 6. It's going to require a Dark Tuner Monster plus 1 plus non-tuner monsters to make it. Okay. So when this card is Synchro Summoning, you can send one Blackwing Monster from your deck to the graveyard. This card's level becomes the same as that monster. You can technically drop a value with this, actually, in order to do some manipulation. Alright, that's pretty interesting. When this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can banish one black wing monster from your graveyard or face up on your field. So watch some of that destroyed monster to your field and face up defense position. This is a Goyo Guardian? It, it's the year 2022, right? And we're making a black wing Goyo Guardian? Okay, that's seemingly interesting. Next up here is black wing the unreviable vada a level two dark beat wing beast tuner if you control a black wing monster except for unreliable you can special summon this card from her hand you can only use you can only summon this card with this effect once per turn all right that's not bad during your main phase you can send this card you control and one non-tuner black wing monster from your deck whose total level become on. You can send this card you control and one non-tuner Blackwing monster from your deck. Those total levels become eight. And if you do special summon a Blackwing dragon from your extra deck, for the rest of this turn you can ask about some of the monsters with the extra deck except for dark monsters. That is really cute actually. So you basically have to be able to mill a non-tuner. So you have to mill a six, right? To get the dragon onto the field. Huh. There's actually some pretty cool application with this. Um, this stuff isn't busted so far by any stretch of the imagination, but... Alright, we're getting places here. What the heck is this? Uh, Blackwing Shamarl the Sandstorm. Another tuner monster. So you can... I only use each of the following effects once per turn. So you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard to place one black whirlwind from your deck in your spell and trap card zone face up. So with this and Simone, we're expediting the process for this. Okay. If this card is in your graveyard, when a black wing synchro monster or a black wing dragon is special summoned, you can banish this graveyard er, you can banish this card from your graveyard to target a black wing monster in your graveyard. Add that monster to your hand and take 700 damage. Sure! Why would I That's so good! This gives you another black whirlwind. This gives you the ability of when you summon a synchro to banish it to target a black wing in your graveyard and recur it back to your hand. What in the advantage treat? Sure, man, I'll take 700 damage to recur back a Blackwing monster. This card is really good. I like this. I think this will see multiple levels of play, for sure. Next up is Shinkook the Snow Striker. So this is a level 2, 100, 700. You can send this card from her hand or field to the graveyard. Then target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Send a Blackwing Synchro monster or a Blackwing Dragon from your extra deck to the graveyard 
And if you do, until the end of this turn, the target of Mons loses 700 attack and its effects are negated. Okay, so we're expediting that process of being able to do that advanced little synchro summon play that we had there. This is a quick effect if you control a dark synchro monster. You can only use each of the following effects of Shinkook, the snow striker, once per turn. Yeah. For that summoning condition to be able to banish from the graveyard in order to do your thing, uh, this is pretty solid. Um, it, it's not an amazing hand trap, but I don't know. This, this is actually pretty cool so far. Black Wings, I'm definitely impressed with your level of support here. All right. Next up here is Suzui the Phantom Gleam. When this card is normal summoned, you can add one card that mentions Blackwing Dragon in your deck to your hand, except for Suzuri. It's also 1,400 attack points. Um, you're, yeah, you'll be able to pull like a decent amount of stuff off of Black Whirlwind with this, but all right. So you can tribute one monster, special summon one Phantom Gleam token, Wing Beast Dark level two tuner to your field, and then you take 700 damage. You can only special summon synchro monsters the turn you activate this effect. All right, well, first of all, the fact that it produces a tuner token is really good. All right, I didn't think we would see a time where Black Wings would get, like, a better token production, but that's fine. But my, my main problem still here is, you know, for this being a normal summon reliant card at 1,400 points for stats, I'm not a super big fan of that because that just hurts your Black Whirlwind searches, as I said already. All right, next up. Ooh, Zonda the Cutting Knight. You can only special summon Synchro Monsters from your extra deck while this card is on the field. Well, I mean, for a level 6, 2300 attack points, I guess it's fine. You can only use one of the following effects of Zonda the Cutting Knight once per turn. If this card is normal or special summoning, target one monster on the field, return it to the hand. Uh, that's a free spot bounce, I guess. All right. You can banish this card from your graveyard, special summon one level five or higher Blackwing monster from her hand or deck, and then take damage equal to the attack of that special summon monster. This is really good. All right. If I can get this into the graveyard and banish it and then pull out something from my deck, yeah, you're going to take a, an upwards huge amount of damage for this. Um... But that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, ladies and gentlemen. Honestly, I think this is probably going to be one of the more powerful cards. So the stipulation on this is nothing, like, even hurtful at all at this point. Uh, Black Feather Gust. All right, so continue a spell card. Once per turn, when you special summon a Synchro Monster from your extra deck, you can target one Blackwing Dragon or a Blackwing Monster with lower attack than the Special Summon Monster from your graveyard or banished especially from that monster so this is going to be a monster reborn once per turn okay once per turn if a dark monster you control is destroyed by ballot card effect you're going to remove one black wing counter from your field instead you know if the application for producing those black feather counters was more reliable i would appreciate this a little bit more but my problem herein lies still that we have to still use the counter mechanic for this. All right, like, I don't know, man. Blackwing counters have not been the most reliable mechanic, and even now, like, post-upgrades here, they're still not, like, the greatest thing in the world. But if you can get to that point where you can grind out your opponent, yeah, you, you might be really set. Blackwing Twin Shadow. So, normal trap card. You can only activate one copy of this card's name once per turn. If you control two or more Blackwing monsters, you can activate this card from your hand. So, in good fashion, we're maintaining that clause here. Return one Blackwing tuner and one Blackwing non-tuner from your graveyard or banished back to your deck. Or extra deck. Special summon one Blackwing synchro monster or Blackwing dragon from your extra deck whose level equal to the total of the two monsters. Treating it as a synchro summon. We got a trap card that allows us to do a synchro summon. Huh. Between full armor master and this, I think this would be like, there's, there's some cute little stuff here that you can probably do during the opponent's turn with this. So that's actually pretty solid. All right. And then we got Black Noble. You can only use e one effect of this card's name once per turn. When a spell or trap card is activated, you can remove one Black Feather Crowner from your field to negate that effect and destroy it. If you control a Black Wing Dragon, you can set this card from your graveyard back to your field, but banish it when it leaves the field. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You got recurability. I'm not going to lie, the Black Wing stuff looks pretty solid out of this set. I'm genuinely super excited 
to see what we will get to have in the future with this. Um, everything, including the dragon, looks very, very solid overall. So what do you guys think about the new Blackwing stuff? Is it better than the hero stuff? I think it might be, actually, just in terms of what we've already got going for the toolbox of things. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. So you guys know myself more awesome content, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.